All right, it's time for Journeys Interactive, and Aisha has joined me with a special birthday dedication. Definitely, Aisha. Mr. Red Tie. How are you? I'm fine, thank and you. And happy birthday to former President John Dramani Mahama. Um, it's his 60th birthday. Yes, 60th. It's, it's quite a milestone, it's actually. A, and it's looking so cool. Cool, man. <laughs> and uh, so... You can see so the. So we posted it, and uh, there have been several people coming to post their comments uh, underneath it. Well, uh -huh. well, it has 582 comments and, and 76 shares and 2,000 reactions. Wow. All right, that's so cool. <laughs> and uh, so let's read a few of the comments. Emmanuel Eric Teko says, Goodness and mercy at your new age. And Grace says, Happy birthday to you. Hope you to see you back in office. And there are three replies. I won't go into that right now. <laughs> Says, says happy birthday forget about 2020 because you won't win stay blessed goofy friday says happy birthday may you continue to remain in opposition till you die oh, oh no that's right. not a good wish nah, 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 nah. right so those okay. are some comments yeah, yeah, yeah. on a live Facebook. winner says happy birthday your excellency may you live long okay. right and uh, we also know that israel lai is our man our asian tall man <laughs> and you asian that tourist tourist okay, okay. So you put up uh, the question over yeah, there, yeah. how many people? I, 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 so I put up the question that uh, we're going to take one person. Mm. So we put up the question, and uh, based on your answer, we're going to use that to select that one person. And this is just one of one of the questions. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, this is a high-stakes thing. You know. it's, uh, it's worth $2,850. So if we're giving it out, you we must have to, sweat yeah, for yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, sweat, so sweat a little. You know, <laughs> So the terms and conditions, you have to just like uh, the Join News page and you must, you must have a valid passport. Uh, so, yes. So I put up the question. And right now we have, what, uh, 481 One comments. Comments. And eight shares. And we put this up 49 minutes ago. So, wow. Well, you keep uh, putting your answers there. We will get to you who knows eventually. you might be there you, yeah you might be there <laughs> okay so you know how much you need four hundred and twenty thousand that's 4.2 billion old cities to join the ndc race i mean if you're, uh, you're you want to be a flag bearer of the ndc that's how much so you're supposed to pay twenty thousand cities for nomination form and four hundred thousand cities as filing fee. Some members of the party are already agitating over what they describe as monetization of the contest. Do you agree or disagree? It amounts to monetization of um, our democracy. And I also see it as um, kind of rough tactics so that um, if you are unable to bring, maybe they have some particular people that they want them to be their flag bearers. So if you are unable to raise that money though, through their filing fees and their nomination fee, they'll use that to eliminate you. Someone like um, Atubiga, <laughs> definitely, I don't see him, you know, being able to raise that amount to contest. It's, it's too expensive. I mean, it should be moderate so that everybody can be able to have access to um, contest based on the monetary um, aspect. If it's too expensive, how can um, a poor person contest for such? NDC is trying to tell us that when they come to power, they are just going to steal from us. 4.2 billion is no joke. You know, if one person can raise 4.2 billion just to be, be the flag bearer of NDC, then when that person wins, automatically, we are all going to, I mean, we pay him back in our own small way, so it's so, so outrageous. Uh, of course, it is. But uh, according to NDC, they are saying the uh, living condition in the country is very hard. So if they are charging so much for their flag bearership, that means the country is easy to stay in. They are telling us, according to what the money they have charged, concerning their flag bearership. That's why the country is safe to stay in. 
Okay, so interestingly, some of the political analysts say, I mean, it's normal. Yeah, yeah, we spoke in about other for, jurisdictions. For yeah, they do it, he, because, he especially when you are in opposition, you need a lot of money to organize uh, party activities. Let's check out your comments. But you know, on in uh, they talk about other countries. Uh, Professor Rans was jumping was talking about the U.S. The U.S. does you don't have to pay that much. Actually, <laughs> yes, it's true. The fact, all right. So Papa Kwame says presidential aspirants filing fees. It says MPP in 2015, 500,000 uh, cities, NDC in 2019, 420,000. But the MPP is crying for the NDC. Is it shameless hypocrisy <laughs> on admission that the economy has indeed deteriorated? I'm yet to hear an NPP person actually make I that haven't point. also heard any yeah. MPP person okay. talk about so, this. So um, let's move on. Maxwell says if you want to be a president and you can't raise these coins, then you don't. Yes. You're not worth being Be one. Right. Obama was able to raise millions of dollars to support his campaign. Okay, so we're talking about millions of dollars to support his campaign. campaign not not to nominate file to for. file his nomination. <laughs> if 150,000 Ghana cities is too much, 420,000 Ghana cities, then when you become the flag bearer, how will you raise your money for your campaign? Ure Kweku says, this is not a political party for any serious-minded individual. I pray that we get another credible third party to make things better for Ghana. Ben Bella says exactly the way Buhari started, from plagiarism to recession. Buhari is synonymous with uh, plagiarism. Nanado is only following the footsteps of his senior brother, Buhari. Sorry, but Ghana. But what, what has I, got I, to I'm do getting with it, Ben Bella. In Tiko, he says, why wouldn't they be corrupt after paying such a huge fee? Hey, NDC. And these same people will say Ghana is hard. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe they want to chop some of the money Mahama looted. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, not sure. Uh, George Watson says, this is a clear message to the aspirants contesting Mahama to withdraw. It's easy for Mahama to raise that amount and obviously difficult and not worth the risk for the others. Why don't the newly executives just rub a JM? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on WhatsApp, a number of comments. This one says, politics nowadays is all about money and that is when the leaders win the election, they will... Uh, they, will, they will want to regain whatever they lost and neglect national issues. It's from Makante from Atebubu. And this one says, uh, Aisha, that money is small. Uh, Abraham from Senegal. It's just to scare the NPP, really. <laughs> and this one, Asari Champo says, if a party in opposition would like to spend like this, then what if they get to power? Okay, so this is, uh, individuals are supposed to raise the money, not the party. And uh, this one says, uh, General Mosquito knows why that amount. Hashtag JDM must not chop the money alone. Okay. I don't know what money you're talking about. Um, Elijah says, I think the party also needs enough money to go. And Moses, uh, from, Moses says, it's too much for one person to pay. They want to encourage corruption. And uh, this one says, uh, in Gatia, okay, I don't know what he's trying to say and this one says the money is just too much and it's coming from chemical from baza now let's move on to the minority members in parliament who want the ministry of special development initiative scrapped explaining it is irrelevant in the scheme of national development as its functions are only duplicates of what other ministries and agencies are expected to do. They threatened actually not to approve the 1.5 billion cities budgetary allocation to that ministry. What do you think? Genuine call or scoring political points? And we posted that on Facebook. I can see a number of your comments on that. Nabiga says, I concur, the Ministry of Toilet Boreholes and Dams is not just a duplication <laughs> of the works of other ministries but a mockery of the citizens' intelligence and democracy as a whole. Via Jeremiah says, scoring political points who approved that ministry in the first place. The best thing they can do for us is to, is to scrutinize that ministry's budget well and get the value for money for us. Yawa Solomon says, even including the Ministry of National Security Evaluation, Procurement and so on, should also be scrapped. Atukwamna Akin says, did I hear the minister occupying that position, that putting up toilet facility in Honorable Arunas constituency is a special initiative. When the toilet facility become a special facility, what is so special about building a toilet? And uh, Rindos uh, just asked the question, what? And Kwesi Bwati says, for once I agree with this noisy minority. Most of these ministerial portfolios are duplicated, uh, duplicated and are leading to what I call ministerial cannibalism. My only problem is how the minority can stop the approval of the budgetary allocations. They don't have the ambit to do that. They can only wish. Abdullah Seydou says, I support you for real. And uh, Kinsley 
Male J says they are just making noise and Siddiqui Watara says you can't have 110 ministers without duplication. Okay. And on WhatsApp, uh, a number of your comments here. Um, Justice uh, Sirigu says the minority is just being uh, insecure. Um, Makante Matthew from Atebu says, I think Honorable Haruna is right because this Nanado government is too obolo. It must be resized. Uh, this one just comes in to say, hmm, he didn't add his name. And uh, Messiah says, the party, okay, so he's still talking about the filing fee for the NDC. And Kwesi from Tadi says, please assist us to get the Doomsaw timetable from the NPP. We're not talking about Doomsaw here. But um, we also do you have a timetable for Doomsaw? I don't have There's one. There's no timetable. There's for no timetable. <laughs> and this one from Tamale says, Happy birthday to ex President Mahama. Those are uh, some comments uh, from you on the issues. And this final one, okay, so uh, people are just throwing in birthday messages for the former president. So, Ibrahim, many thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.